What's the mayor doing here? Oh snap, is that the mayor shorts? Oh my gosh! I just found the mayor shorts. Whose room is this? You rummaged through Marnie's dresser. This is Mark. Wait a second. Why was the mayor shorts in Marnie's room? Oh, I mean, okay. Now I know why the mayor's here. All right, man. Back to Stardew Valley Tips Prairie King Edition. I beat the game multiple times, including with zero deaths, so I know what I'm talking about. First, a tour. Whenever you see the screen, start by getting ammunition on the far right first, and then the gun in the middle. Fuck the boots, honestly. Who needs them? Top left is your pocket, your lives, and your coin count. Top middle is the timer. That is reset every level, and on the right hand side, how many levels you've completed. Now, there's a lot to cover here, which is why it's going to be its own mini series, and you will die a lot to be easy on yourself. And there's lots of power-ups, we'll talk about that in a later episode. Both mini-boss levels have a sweet spot where your character can stand and not get hit, but your bullets still connect with them. That's what this looks like. After defeating a mini-boss, you can get their life up token and advance to the next world. There are three worlds total in the game. World 1 looks like this, and it has four levels before a mini-boss fight. World 2 has three levels before their mini-boss fight, and it looks like this. The enemies on these levels are fast. And this is world 3, like for part 2. Hi, and welcome back to Stardew Tips I Discovered by Accident, part two. The question I get most often in my comments is how to decorate the world. First up, you need this furniture catalog. Place it anywhere in the world. There are a few different categories. However, the ones that you'll be able to use in the world will be in the table and chair section. As you can see, an oak dresser is considered furniture, which means you can only place it inside your house. However, if you scroll down and take note of the tables, you'll see that they are classified as decoration, which means they can be placed anywhere. Every single dining table in the game is classified as decoration, meaning you can put it anywhere. This is the same for chairs and benches as well. However, it stops with couches. No couches outside. That would be gross. You can use this however you want on your very own farm or anywhere in the world so long as it doesn't interfere with the path of an NPC. I hope this inspires you on your starting file like the part two. Okay, I got the Stardew Valley guidebook and I have to show it off. First, it came with a guide to Ginger Island, which is really great because that was the newest update. Second, I just took the sleeve off so I can show you that inside it has every resident. Physical book is super cute and has all these little indentations, excuse me. And the pages are glossy, which is something I absolutely love. It's got that new book smell. Literally, just look at how pretty the illustrations are. I can't get over it. It's got like every guide, everything. It's got notes on the monsters, their location. It's got tips on everything you can make and how much they sell for. I just can't get over how beautiful it is, truly. You can even draw your own farmer. I literally, it's so cute. Honestly, 10 out of 10. If you've been debating getting it, I highly recommend you go buy it. Why you should upgrade your trash can in Stardew. The more you upgrade, the more gold you get back from stuff you throw away. Useful in the skull cavern when you get worse weapons.
Thomas. Thank you.